final will and embraced the reality later stated in Hebrews 2.10. For it was fitting for him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons to glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. And suddenly a noise from an approaching crowd of very determined men shattered the quiet of the garden. It was time. God had answered, and yet Jesus' heart had quieted. He got up from his knees and walked forward to meet the future in step with the rhythm of Psalms 23. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Verse 4. What do we, the living, learn from a man who died that we might live? It is noteworthy that he chided his disciples more than once that they could not even stay awake for one hour. They were answerless. He admonished them to stay alert, and Jesus knew that this night was not only his moment of personal great decision, but that their moment of encounter would yet come, and that so too would ours. So listeners, how will we respond? We may never carry a cross up to Golgotha. Thank God, and I say that quite sincerely for the unblemished Lamb of God, reference at 1 Peter 1.19, has gone before us and done what we never could. Nevertheless, what about the daily challenges that confront us to take the course of least resistance rather than the narrow gate and the difficult way, leading to life that few find? So, let's consider four steps, one by one, as to how we might heed Jesus' call of follow me. Number one. See quiet and solitude. Find time away from the roar of life and the crowd. After all, Scripture invites us, be still and know that I am God. Psalms 46.10 You and I know this can be the hardest thing to do, humanly, when challenge comes our way. But it's the starting blocks towards making the great decision. Do it. Number two. Stay spiritually alert. Knowing and being near Christ are no substitute for becoming like Him. Think of His companions being just a stone's throw away, and yet Jesus told them to pray, to stay awake and alert. How about us? Perhaps this column can sound an alarm for all of us. Like at Ephesians 5.14, Awake! You who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you life. Number three, keep looking up. As Jesus knelt down on the ground, his needful heart looked up. Looking up rather than around is a tremendous step toward moving forward in the kingdom life. As the psalmist wrote and would write, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalms 121, 1 and 2. Where the eyes of our heart focus is where we will cut through life's challenges to make the great decision. And lastly, number four, decide to follow. Remember, we do not find our values in trials. We take them into the fray with us. As the great challenges of life come on us, and they will, we will have the moment between stimulus and response to address the situation. It's within that moment that we make a choice we bear the responsibility for. 
being once again confronted with the great decision. 